So again, as I was trying to point out to you, when you're asleep on the couch, right? Don't matter five minutes, ten minutes, two minutes, right? Whatever, right? If something happens, right, between you and another person, right, in the house or apartment, right? <laughs> the question is, are you seeking to do something wrong with that person or suddenly have to deal with it, right? And you're not sure what the person's needs are at first, but going down a list, right? <laughs> you're trying to figure it out, right? Now, here's the problem the person don't understand, right? Either, either. Everything about my time in the Navy once I'm diagnosed with the mental illness and I follow the three stories and I'm injured has done been determined by the military, right? You can't change anything, I don't know, more or less that happened, right? You can't make it better or worse either, right? I can't prove, right, <laughs> my shipmates <laughs> asked me if I was gay. That's my feelings or what I thought being meant, right? right. Mm -hmm. Being Kimball, mm-hmm. Even if I can name him, mm -hmm. I didn't say to anyone else <laughs> during that time he did that to me. Mm -hmm. It's called, also called the Statutes of Limitations and all that. Mm -hmm. So it does make me part of the Me Too movement, right? If he did. Mm -hmm. But like them, right? Mm -hmm. Each case is case by case, and you have to prove it. Now, the dudes were in the... Mm -hmm. The other guys were hearing him ask me that question. Mm -hmm. right. But I said, no, mm -hmm. I'm not gay. Mm -hmm. So they heard that too, right? The thing is, who's their friend, though? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right. They would have to testify against it, right? <laughs> See what I mean, right? <laughs> so I'm in a bad situation, ain't I, right? All I can do is say no and stay out there here during the day, right? Which means if King only gives me the work card, I go to the area to check out the job first and try to figure out if I can do anything with it, right? And make sure nothing's out of place, right? Like I told you before, right? Then I go hide somewhere else. I'll go into one of the other breaker rooms, right? Along the hangers, so they would have to look for me to even find me. And I know they're lazy, right? <laughs> they're not training me in the first place, right? So then I hide for the rest of the day, go get lunch, right? Then go back to hiding, right? Make sure there's nothing out of place where I'm supposed to do the job, right? <laughs> I'm doing something and then I exercise, do push-ups, sit-ups, whatever, right? Okay, that's why I also stayed thin and under 170 pounds before I left the Navy, right? It's also why with the disability, I gained all this weight, right? Slowly, though, not all at once, right? For a while there, I was 200, under 300 pounds, too, right? That, this just as it started to happen more recently, right? That I gained the 300 pounds, and I'm over 300 pounds now, right? It's still under 340, right? right? But again, right? Mm -hmm. I can't prove none of this, right, without real evidence, right? <laughs> it's my word against men's word, right? That's another thing, even if, again, right, you know you didn't do nothing with your stepdaughter. If she came in there to you and you don't hardly remember anything, right, <laughs> Because it would be as briefly as it would take you to smell her yourself if you didn't know if she peed or not, right? 
and to see if she wanted to take a bath with you after that right? <laughs> if you understand what I'm saying right <laughs> and then realize the wife's in there that's a bad idea right <laughs> and right mm -hmm. redress the girl and ask her who showed her that and bring her back to her mom right if the alternative story happened right which is all the child could say a little differently if I told Daphne she was like me up and had her crotch in my face, right? Which is kind of the same thing, either way. Either way. Okay, mm-hmm. Well, see, I didn't expect her to not go pee. <laughs> and spontaneous reaction, right, is not the same as a planned reaction, you know? What I mean there, right? If I planned it out to have sex with the stepdaughter, right? That's all me 100%. But if it's spontaneous, right? In other words, suddenly it happened and I'm dealing with it, right? I didn't plan on it to happen at all, right? right. See, that goes to criminal intent. <laughs> what was my intent when I went to sleep on the couch after turning you off the TV before? Mm-hmm. I got back to base while the daughter was living with me for a few days, right? right. <clears throat> and nothing, nothing, <laughs> right? There was no intent, right, to mess with the child, right? Zero. Not a one, not a one. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? I was staying on the couch. I didn't expect her to wake me up. If she did wake me up, I would only tend to her needs. And if... I did something awkward. The only way you could know is with a video, <laughs> right? Which would mean the mother was trying to entrap me, right? <laughs> Which is her intent, right? But here's the thing. If I did nothing wrong, right? All she's got is a video of me trying to smell her, which she's trying to pass off as me licking her, right? I didn't lick her. <laughs> it wasn't about licking her. It was about smelling her, <laughs> And see, she didn't think that's what it was, right? Because I licked her first, remember I told you that. I licked her, right? I didn't lick the daughter, right? But I was smelling the daughter, right? See, if she remembers correctly, right? <laughs> I'm down there for a few minutes, at least two to five, two to five. <clears throat> I mean, you don't just do it for a minute and then stick it in, you got to... Get it really ready, right? That's what I was taught anyway about the books, right? <laughs> it's not a one minute thing, right? Mm -hmm. And it's part of foreplay, and you don't just start, you know, licking the top either, they advise, right? But you go bottom to top and then do other things like the ABCs, the one, two, threes, right? <laughs> Things I heard suggested. <laughs> you can do the alphabet or right? <laughs> different things like that, right? <clears throat> but why would it tempt even the Comcast girl if I offered to lick her first, right? Now, the problem is I'm blacked out, right? <laughs> it ain't that I wasn't expecting someone to come fix the TV, right? Is that it was a female, <laughs> which I found out after I came to, <laughs> after she blacked you, um, she blacked me out, right? <laughs> and here's why: she's the only one who knew, right? She was a she, right? <laughs> before she showed up, before she showed up too, right? I didn't know it would be a she. No one did, right? No, no, except Comcast who hired her, right? And they don't advertise if it's a female technician or a male. You don't, this is a roll of the dice, right? Well, like I said, there's no problem if I just talk to her about the sex with the girl at the salon, right? You don't black me out for that. I don't lose time for that, right? Or I lose time on YouTube by now. <laughs> I'm not just blacking out during the day <laughs> all the time. Only two noted times during the day, right? 
at night, I've been having the TV weirdly changed, and then that don't really prove nothing, though, right? And I still don't know who did it, right? <laughs> right. Problem there, too, right? <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Exactly. Right, you get the point, right? Now, if the wife is planning something, though, and I don't do it, what does that mean about her plan? It didn't go through it, didn't go through it, right? <laughs> so even she's saved by me not doing nothing sexual with the child but trying to smell it, right? You see what I mean, right? No one can get in trouble if I didn't do nothing wrong, not even her, not even her. <laughs> now, it might piss her daughter off, like I told you, right? <laughs> but, again, right, <laughs> I don't go after her, right? And she, too, would have to come here, and if she wanted the TV was changed, and Daphne's denying it, possibly. Right? Now, she don't look like the girl in my dream, but I'm single, so I can mingle, right? Right. And I don't know it's her, right? Mm-hmm. Probably either. I just think it's a sexy-looking mulatto girl, right? <laughs> and being with her, not sure it's the daughter or not, right? <laughs> but not really pushing it. If the person is just coming here for sex, we had sex, and she leaves, right? <laughs> Like I said, right? Does that make some sense, right? right. Yeah, actually, it does. <laughs> and then someone else shows up, and we fight about it, and say it's Daphne, and I recognize Daphne, right? But not who the girl was. And then she tells me that was her daughter, right? Me again, right? And I said, well, oh, she just said to get her home. I'm home. It's not home, right? Right? <laughs> and then she tries to black me out again, right? <laughs> and then I wake up in the house somehow, right? <laughs> And then, I don't know what happened, right? Maybe, right? And see, it's all hypothetical, right? Even what happened in the salon is hypothetical or with the Comcast girl. But there's no reason to black me out for just talking to her about sex, right? But there is, if we had the sex, and this called regret sex, would well, you black the person out, right? In other words, she went through with it, and it felt good and everything. That wasn't the problem. And she said, yes, right? Initially, but then after the sex, this is where the regret part comes in. <laughs> she hit me over the head, right? <laughs> and got angry about it, right? And wish too late she hadn't have done it, right? <laughs> now that's still assault with the deadly weapon, right? If you're hitting me over the head with a stick, not just to knock me out, but maybe possibly kill me, right? And I'll probably never see her again, like I told you too, right? Unless again she takes the vintage and tries to kill me again. <laughs> Don't do it again. <laughs> if you did, right? Didn't work the first time, they ain't gonna work again, right? <laughs> You're not getting that either, is it? Is it? <laughs> no. Now, I did have a wet dream about Hiromi last night, like I said, but, right, I didn't really plan on it, but went to bed after a Saturday Night Live, and then, <laughs> right, right, and I had Dave Chappelle, and, you know, the musical guests, I'm not too familiar with them, right, but okay, okay, <laughs> She is sweating. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm watching a video on MTV Live right now, right? I think it's Chloe, but I'm not sure. Right? But anyway, <laughs> she's getting sweaty and looking sexy, but I'm a white guy. I've been with a black woman, so I know about that too, right? <laughs> But I don't go after nobody, right? You can respond to me or not, right? Like I said, right? And I've had... Daphne looks just as pretty as Chloe, actually, right? It's not her looks. It's her mind. It's her mind, right? 
I have to worry about. And her daughter, right? <laughs> Probably more than anything else, right? <laughs> Not Chloe herself. Why would she even care about all this, right? Like I said, right? <laughs> oh, <and> Lotto. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> Got the big, big energy. Do, 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 do. Is it different enough? All right. Plus, <laughs> it's all vocal. I know, it's all vocal. Right, right. But you wouldn't tell any of them no if you're a straight guy, right? <laughs> but they gotta get here. I ain't gonna waste my time, right? I don't think they would theirs, literally, literally. Fantasy wise, I can be with Lotto and Chloe, right? Have a menage a trois <laughs> in my head, but <laughs> reality might be the problem, you know what I mean? <laughs> but that's discerning good from evil, right? Like Paul said too, right? <laughs> You gotta discern fantasy from reality too, right? Now I can fantasize all I want, right? Mm-hmm. But reality sets in too, right? Right. And I'm good with where I'm at now because it could be worse, but it's not as bad as it should be, right? As they want it to be too, right? <laughs> So, like I said, forgiveness is the whole point of Jesus. He's the only one resurrected. Because <laughs> he forgave. <laughs> Not condemned. <laughs> then you won't be resurrected the same way. You'll be resurrected with the unjust. Right? Now, if it takes a week. Okay. <laughs> you ever heard of a loop? Right? What that means, right? If Jesus has a millennial reign, right? And some Christians think Jesus and God by now could remake the earth in 24 hours, six days period, right? After the fall, the first one. <laughs> Even if it was four billion years ago, scientists. <laughs> How fast do you think God could replenish the earth then? <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> so that's the one that's right. Six 24-hour days or 6,000 years. To God, it's all the same. <laughs> by now, by now. Right, right. <laughs> and again, right, like I told you, mm -hmm. if the just and unjust are resurrected again, right, and John talks of the second or third death, right? I thought God forgives forever, John, right? Who are you listening to, Satan or John? God, right? Satan, right? Why are you listening to Satan, John, right? And not God. <laughs> You're not getting it, right, brother, right? You have to be judged yourself because you're not doing good. <laughs> you're doing good and evil till you died yourself. <sighs> mm -hmm. You're trying to make people just or unjust when we're saved by faith, faith and forgiveness, right? Of Jesus, not your own, not your own. It's Jesus' forgiveness to save us, right? Not Satan's condemnation. That's what's killing us, right? So you're still siding with evil Peter, right? But you're just as evil as Peter if you agree with him and lie with him too, right? That's why they don't believe me when I tell them you use the word bastily, right? And even with all you, the other men said about it, right? Because only the men could even testify, not the women, right? And say something about it, right? Back then, too, right? Mm -hmm. It's why it creates this loop anyway. You're all lying and telling the truth, right? And it don't matter how big the lie is, how small the lie is, the lie is a lie, right? Even if I say to a bald person, you know, <laughs> you look, look more masculine, right? Right? 
to give him a positive outlook on his image, right? right? And I look more feminine, right? I look more like a woman, right? <laughs> but still, right? You <laughs> know. That's the difference, right? Right. Even a bald head, though, serves a purpose under Jesus, but Satan would say it's something bad and curse you, right? For it, right? God don't bless and curse its creatures, right? Now, it is a side effect of the sin and eating the loser here, right? It's a dominant gene, right? What makes it dominant is it only takes one bald gene for the male to go bald, but two for the female, right? And she's the more hairier right? on top than the male, right? <laughs> Do you understand, right? <laughs> It's DNA again, right? <laughs> in the fall, in the fall. Mm -hmm. But we are all children of God, even Satan, right? Now, if one of us, and we're us, and they're us, and right, we're them, right? We're really dividing ourselves based on skin tones, right? And yet the Australians and the Africans are dark-skinned people, right? There's and even some of the islanders can look dark, right? Why they've been there and close to the sun and right, right? It's adaptation. Oh, here's Taylor again, I think. She's Moulin Rouge again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see aspects of. Cinderella, Moulin Rouge, and all that, right? In our new video, right? They even bathe in a champagne glass, but whatever, right? It's her video, right? But we've all seen it before, right? But see, even with fair use, that's how you gotta do it, right? She's borrowing from Game of Thrones, she's borrowing from, right, different elements of mythology too, right? Of, you know, dragons and, right, Harry Potter, right? <laughs> but nothing wrong with that. That's what we all got to do if we want to create our own world, right? Fictionally, right? right. Sci-fi, fiction, you know, right? <laughs> Science fiction, right? And again, right? But a dragon can be based off of a dinosaur, right? The pterodactyl comes to mind, right? right. So if you're a caveman, <laughs> and the pterodactyl goes flying around over your head, right? <laughs> He's the thunderbird to the Indians, right? <laughs> you see what I mean, scientists? <laughs> And your timeline is too barred, right? <laughs> if God can create the world in six days, well, that's 24 hours, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. See, did, see, the thing is, it's meaning a dual thing, though, too. Mm -hmm. Sometimes your day drags on and you wish it was just over, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, right? And then it flies by, like, right? What happened? I, 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 that was too quick, right? <laughs> You're having fun, right? <laughs> but last dude, you use some common sense here, right? If I'm on the couch, Daphne Walker, and your daughter wakes me up, what am I supposed to do with her? Right? Sure, she did everything that you. Wrong with her? Wrong with her. <laughs> right. Why is she in there with me? Right. I know for the reasons, right? Right. And usually a touch child will tell you if they want something to eat or drink right off the top of their head. They'll say, I'm thirsty or, I know. <laughs> you ain't got to say much to them, right? But again, right, right. <laughs> If they got to pee or go to the bathroom and they're in there with you, right? 
you might have to undress her if you're trying to be coy about it too, right? In other words, I'm being discreet as to why she's in there with me, right? But not trying to do nothing sexual either, right? But either story has to do with first her waking me up and then me reacting to her, right? And none of it is 100% sexual, right? But along the lines of either helping her pee or bathing her too, right? How is that a pedophilia, right? They're not the same thing, right? Now, you can't charge me because of that. She's a limitation anyway, right? <laughs> That's why once I left the house, you got to go to the police 48 hours later, right? You got to go with your daughter and tell them what I did with her, right? <laughs> not even after the 15th, right? <laughs> There's no proof I even touched the girl, right? Except around the area I was sleeping, right? There would have been proof there if I touched her or not, right? But if I just smelled her, I'm not touching her. <laughs> even if I stick my tongue all the way out. <laughs> and all the way up and down, right? Now, the difference is when you do real oral sex on the female, you don't do all that. You go straight for the V. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You go straight in, right? Now, you kiss the woman, right? Mm -hmm. And go down, right? Going down the woman, right? Some familiar ladies I was with, right? <laughs> you kiss the girl first, right? And then you go down, down, right? <laughs> Top to bottom. <laughs> Playing with her boobs on the side, front, <laughs> nipples, right? Areolas, right? Just description, right? By word to mouth. By <laughs> word to mouth. <laughs> but see, that's the point. There's no visual, just audio, right? <laughs> to, to, right? <laughs> I'm telling you from memory with the women I was with, right? how I would do them. Now, some didn't even really want me to kiss them, but I still kissed their neck, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. And played with their boots, right? Mm-hmm. And still try to get them ready, right, right? But that was more the ones that wanted a 20 or 120 or 50 or 80 or whatever, right? right? For sex, right? Exchange, right? <sighs> now, that's not any different than taking a girl out. Mm -hmm. Buying her at McDonald's, right? <laughs> in a movie, right? <laughs> like, in risky business. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> if it's a 20 or 120, right, <laughs> that's still under right, a date, right? right? And the difference is, though, right, we just had the sex instead of going through all that. <laughs> and I gave her a 20, right? Okay, that's prostitution, right? Not sex and sh giving her a tip, <laughs> right? <laughs> Now, like in the Wolf of Raw Street, down three hundred dollars, you know, <laughs> the ladies of the night right? <laughs> is different than your wife, or you know, <laughs> even when he met Margot Robbie's character, right, and you get to see her in all her glory, right? <laughs> Which again, right, right, most men like that vision of her, right, <laughs> me included, but. <laughs> She is an actress, right? That is part of the job, and you cannot pretend she knows you. She don't. <laughs> That's what I keep telling you, too, right? If I don't understand that by now, you're being naive, right? Yourself, right? I do know the boundaries of sex, right? <clears throat> 
and I'm good with masturbation until I find someone, right? Right? Then you can have sex, right? But the masturbation is practice. <laughs> For when you really meet someone, too, right? <laughs> do I just... Until I come, or do I try to hump the bed <laughs> periodically throughout the night, right? I'm more hump the bed periodically throughout the night, right? <laughs> and then, you know, eventually... There's stains on the mattress, and I have to wash it and clean it up. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Got some Febreze here. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> right. <laughs> I can Febreze it, too, right? <laughs> this season, this season, right? Just played, you know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> you do something to clean it up, you know. Even if it's wiping it clean, right? Or, you know, <laughs> putting it in the washing machine, right? Or spraying a little freeze on it, right? <laughs> something to keep it clean, right? <laughs> And not smelling bad, right? Was it a little or a lot? <laughs> do you do it every day or once in a while, right? That's important too, right? Right. <laughs> now, if you rub it into the sheets, right? You spread it out a little, <laughs> right? Know what I mean, right? <laughs> You're cleaning it in essence, right? And then you put a little Febreze on it in the morning. <laughs> See where it's at now? <laughs> this is all it would take anyway if you had a wet dream or something, right? Right, right. <laughs> See what I mean? I try to keep it smelling nice if I do it or not, right? <laughs> Last night or not, right? Mm hmm. <laughs> you see what I mean? And then the girl don't know I did it or not, right? <laughs> but see, that's the point, right? <laughs> now, Hiromi herself might. Appreciate that I said I'd be, be more attracted to her than Kim Kardashian, right? right. But that don't mean right? she's going to come to Georgia to have sex with me. <laughs> but she might join me in a wet dream. <laughs> in my mind, anyway. <laughs> and I appreciate that, right? <laughs> but not really either, either, right? <laughs> That's fantasy versus reality, right? And it don't hurt no one, right? If I'm thinking of licking her, mm -hmm, and doing her, right, and kissing her, right? <laughs> and uh, as I'm describing to you anyway, right? <laughs> Not even her. <laughs> Not even her. <laughs> now, it does hurt if she shows up and you back me out, and I don't even know, and right? Yeah, that would hurt. That would be the part that would hurt. Because <laughs> then I don't know if she did. I don't remember her doing it, right? And she really did. And she really did. <laughs> and who would that be on her or you, right? To butt me out, right? <laughs> and, uh, it's not on you or you're playing God. If that's what Satan taught you to do, asshole. <laughs> You don't get it still, do you, right? The knowledge of good and evil is that you think I'm doing something bad enough to be punished for, right? Don't point to it, right? I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Harami's old enough <laughs> to be in Playboy, right? And that was 06, right? Mm-hmm. Let's say she's over 18, right? 20, right? In 06, right? How long has it been since then? I don't know. Mm -hmm. She should still look good, <laughs> being that she's Asian too, right? <laughs> Probably like she did in the Playboy, right? Asians do not crack either black, right? <laughs> right? 
They just don't crack, nor do black, right? <laughs> and I'm a little bit of all the above, probably, right? <laughs> well, Genghis Khan, right, and several Asian factions did make it as far as Europe, right? And who else? <laughs> there was two of them. Attila the Hun, right? And Hun is Chinese, right? I know, I know. <laughs> and Genghis Khan, right? And Khan. <laughs> or Quan, right? <laughs> right. The Chinese are Chinese. It's K H A N, anyway, right? Quan is K W E, right? So. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Mm hmm. But I wouldn't expect Michelle Kwan to do it either. It's the point of things, right? What, her life is so miserable she ain't had sex since her last husband and she wants some for me, right? Because she could be on top. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but if she did, right, <laughs> I reserve the right to remember it or don't do it at all, right? That's what I'm saying too, right? <laughs> <laughs> See, that's reverse stalking the male, right, right? Who knows it's wrong to be with you, but knows his mental illness, but is behaving accordingly, too, right? Um, still playing by the rules, because he only had audible hallucinations like in the Bible, and he sees it as a religious experience anyway, right? <laughs> now, you can't change the medical from the religious either, because it's scientific versus faith, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can view it both ways, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you know I'm having that amount of stress, whether it's God speaking to me or cracking from the stress, right? <laughs> Which is medically what happened, right? right. <laughs> I'm still all here, right? <laughs> I still have my faculty and I'm conscious, right? And aware of my surroundings, right? And coherent, right? Usually too during the day. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Now get over it, right? 